and Shalom. I like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ruach Horash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of peace and blessing to the Most High, as hopefully elect, out of the nation of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which who have been uh, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, and this is uh, Brother Yagadal Lamar from GMS Houston, and uh, I got a lesson I want to go into, and uh, the title of this lesson is going to be, There is One Mediator. All right, who is Yahweh Shah, who the world eagerly know as Jesus Christ, okay? And um, particularly what, what had prompted me to go into this, man, was the fact that I'm just running across uh, someone who was in that Old Test Testament mind frame, all right, try to discredit Yahweh Shah. And on top of that, you have guys who act as if they got this knowledge on their own, that they speak to the Most High, uh, 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 first hand, the Lord just comes to them. Now, that's not the way it happens, man. There's an order to the way the Most High set up uh, his men to receive this knowledge, okay? And it starts off by going through his son because he's the only, he's the, he's the one that speaks on our behalf, man. He's the only reason that we have a chance of salvation. He's the only uh, way that we have a way of uh, 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 salvation wait, awaiting us, man, okay? And I try to rule my emotions, man, but like, this topic always gets me fired up, man. Okay, and, and not only myself, but I know all the men of the Lord who see what this thing is about and see the gravity of what Yahweh Shah did for us, not only uh, the elect, but the whole nation, which will be saved all of, uh, eventually in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, quit running my mouth and uh, get straight into it, man. As always, I'll be as uh, edification in this video. Okay, so, um, let me grab a book, First Timothy. And I might have to uh, do a little bit of jumping around, uh, but uh, Lord willing, through the Spirit, man, it's, uh, it's less than tied together. Okay? So this is uh, the book of First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse, starting at 5. It says, there is one power and one mediator between Yahweh and men, the, the man... Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Okay? So it's, it's playing into the point in verse 5. It's letting you know that there's the most high power and there's what? All right, there's one power, man. Okay, the most high power, but there's one mediator in between the most high power and men, and that is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly know is Jesus Christ, man. Okay, now in verse 6, it said, who gave himself a ransom for all. Now, I want to jump to a quick precept so these Christian nuts don't try to say, okay, we said he, uh, uh, he's, uh, he uh, died for all of us, man. No, that, that, that's not accurate according to the scriptures, man. Okay, so it said he died for all. Let's see who this all is talking about, man. All right. Come on, this is... Uh, Get straight to the point. This is Romans 11 and 26. It says, and so all Israel shall be saved. So that's the all it's talking about, man. Okay, it's not talking about all nations, man. Anybody that all believes in Jesus can be saved. No, it's talking about all the Israelites will be saved, okay? First the elect, the one-third, all right, and 144,000. And then the rest of Israel will be uh uh, brought in th in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, and that's the way the Most High uh, has it set up, man. Okay, well, he is the one that the Lord uh, that He sent His Son to die for, man. Okay. All right, so I want to go back to First uh, Timothy, um, verse six. All right, concerning that one mediator, okay, and what he did. Okay, so this is First Timothy two and six again. It says, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time, man. Now, I want to examine that word ransom, man, which when you go into the Greek, the word is uh, anatolutron, anatolutron, is, is, which means a redemption or price, man. Okay. So, Jake that's trying to discredit Yahweh Shah and what he did, man. He is the only one uh, uh, whose blood was able was worthy enough on a high level enough, all right, to be the ultimate sacrifice to bring us back on, back under the adoption, man. 
Okay, that's why Paul in Romans nine said he wished that he uh, uh, could have took uh, uh, took the role of Yahweh Shai to uh, 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 to do as he did for for the nation of Israel, man. Okay, and that's uh, with the price that was paid, man. Yahweh Shai's blood, man. I'm gonna grab a quick scripture to back that up. This is a uh, First Peter chapter one and verse eighteen. It says, for as much as ye know that that ye were redeemed, and redeemed mean to buy back, okay? It says, uh, we're not redeemed with corruptible things as silver or gold from your vain conversation, all right? Conversation meaning action, all right? Your actions, your conduct. It says, received by traditions from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Mashiach, as of a lamb, without blemish and without spot. Now these old testament guys they try to discredit Yahweh Shai all right in the New Testament, but Yahweh Shai is all through the Old Testament, man. He was prophesied it was prophesied that there was gonna be a great sacrifice, man. All right, there was gonna be a lamb without blemish, okay. Okay. So uh reading on it says uh as a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world Okay, so even before the foundation of the world, before the Old Testament uh, was even uh, compiled, okay, and put together, guess what? Yahweh Shah was set to do what he did, man, all right? Was the major part of the Most High's movie, man. He is the main character in the Most High's movie, man, okay? And he's always been on the scene, man, all right? Not just in the time when he walked as Yahweh Shah, Okay. So uh, I'll read that one more time. So in verse 19, it says, But with the precious blood of Mashiach, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times, okay? He was manifested as Yahweh Shai in the flesh in these last times, all right? Because when the end of the days, the end of uh, the last days begin, man, when the Lord came on the scene, man, Okay? And that's another misconception. People think, oh, we just know the been the last day started when Yahweh Shah came on the scene, man. Okay. All right. So um going back, um matter of fact, just to um kind of drive home the point of the uh the sacrifice that Yahweh Shah, uh uh the ultimate and perfect sacrifice that Yahweh Shah was set up to be, man. Okay. Just so that can never be taken away. That there was no other way that we would be able to be brought under the adoption, back under the adoption and receive salvation if it wasn't for the blood of Yahweh Shah being shed, man. And he knew that was the will of his father, man. All right. And he asked at one point, is there any other way? But, you know, at the end, this is the way, man. This is the way that my father said it to be. I am that sacrificial lamb, man. Okay. So this is uh, Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 13. Uh, yeah, I started 13. It says, for if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctified to the, uh, sanctify it to the purifying of the flesh. All right. So when you go into the beginning of this chapter, what was it speaking of, man? It was speaking of, uh, 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 uh of well i'll say a few verses above was going into the sacrifices of the animals man all right that the mo that we were uh abused and and and, and but they were that's what was the uh, uh that law was in place for a certain period of time and to the most i say you know what i'm doing away with the animal sacrifice man so what happened yahweh Sha was set up to replace that man okay we ain't in the time of doing, we, we've been out of the time of doing animal sacrifices, but Yahweh Shai came on the scene to be that ultimate sacrifice to uh, 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 to bring us back under the fold, man. Okay, so verse 14, it says, how much, all right, so let's give you a comparison, man, okay? If the blood of animals, all right, certain clean animals, okay, was sanctified uh, uh, to the purifying of the flesh, all right? Now, verse 14, it says, how much more shall the blood of Mashiach, who through the through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot without spot to Yahweh, purged your conscience from dead works to serve the living power. Okay, 
So it's giving you a clear distinction that and showing you that there there was a whole nother level of sacrifice. Okay, you we dealing with now, man. All right. If we had animals that was able to purify into the flesh, how much more, all right, precious is the blood of Mashiach, man? Okay? Which was able to bring, to cover all, not only our sin, his sins first, and then all the sins of Israel, man. Okay? If we read first, verse 15, it says, and for this cause, he is the mediator, they go to the word mediator again, man. Okay? Of the New Testament, that by means of debt for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance, man. Okay? So now this time around, the men that have been called, all right, by Yahweh Shai, all right, the sheep that heard his voice, all right, have a promise of eternal inheritance uh, 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 through the death of Yahweh Shai. Through him going up on the, on the cross and and, and uh and taking that uh well I ain't gonna say taking that loss but leveling it up because what happened man okay he was ascended into the heavens okay and sat on the right hand of the heavenly Father man okay so we it, it wasn't a loss that he took it was a level up as the uh, elder Yatizak always says man okay so I want to read that verse one more time before I move on man because that's a heavy thing man. You have these guys who, who who have tasted of this knowledge, and they feel like they can they don't they don't need to uh, praise or worship Yahweh Shai for what he did, man. All right, so this is Hebrews nine and fifteen again. It says, "And this call and for this cause he is is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death for the redemption of the transgression transgressions that were under the first testament." They which are called might have the promise of eternal inheritance, man. So we wouldn't even have been able to receive this if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And I wasn't really thinking about it when I picked this image as a steel shot for this lesson. But what do you see Yahweh Shai holding, man? He, he's got the earth in his hand, man. The Most High set him up to do all his work for him, man. Okay? It wasn't it wasn't for nobody else, man. Okay, the Most High created created Yahweh Shai, and he's been the the driving force of the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay, whether you you Negroes want to accept it or not, man, that's the that's the way uh, the Most High set it up. He said he got his son taking care of everything, man. Then you're not gonna get to uh, uh to the Most High unless you go through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. That's why you have to know the names, okay? The call on the one true uh, names of, of, of the Heavenly Father and His Son even to be heard, man, okay? But no, people want to, uh, 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 and I'm not going to say people, man, stiff neck, hard head niggas, man, who try to uh, uh, take away from uh, uh, what Yahweh Shai did because they want to feel like they have some level of importance, man. All right, when we ain't shit, man, we're servants unto uh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, we're set to be what, man? To be prisoners of hope, man. All right? And he gave us that hope, man. Okay? And just uh, to back that up, this is uh, Romans 3, starting at 23. It says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh, man. So we have all have committed sins against the Heavenly Father, man. All right? Majority of the uh, uh, time have been worthy of death, man. Okay? It says, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's the only reason we have any justification. All right? He is the way that we have been made perfect through the blood of, uh, of Yahweh Shai, man. He's the reason we are under grace, man. All right? Verse 25, it says, whom Yahweh have set forth to be a propitiation, all right? A ultimate sacrifice and atonement. Okay? Through faith in his blood, man. Okay? And that's why going back to uh, uh, Hebrews um, 9 and 15, man, it said to those who uh, were called, all right, and, and received and heard the calling, okay, and followed, uh, start following the land with the soever he goeth, man, okay? Have a hope of eternal inheritance. Why? Because they have faith in the blood. This is a spiritual thing, man. They have faith that Yahweh Shai died for us. For a reason, man, so so we can receive the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? So if you discredit Yahweh Shah or discredit the New Testament, 
then you cutting off, you don't have no faith in the kingdom of heaven because he is our way to the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. Let me finish this out. It says to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of Yahweh, man. All right. He is the one true way, man. All right. There's no other way to, to get to the heavenly father and there's no other way to receive salvation but through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. So a quick precept. This is um, uh, John chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he say he, it says he that, uh, that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbing up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. And that's what you guys are doing. You trying to, uh, uh, to take a shortcut, man. All right. You trying to, uh, 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 um, not go take that straight and narrow path, man. Straight meaning difficult, man. Okay. There's no way, because first of all, there's no sneaking on the chariot, man. There's no, no, like in Esau's bullshit movies, man, okay? The only way to get on that chariot is you are chosen from the foundation of earth, okay? And you endure until the end. And the elect is the only ones that's going to do that, man. 144,000 only ones that's going to endure until the end. And we don't know who that is, man. That's why this thing is all about faith, all right? And fighting until the end. And realizing that the only way that we can make it out of here is following the example that Yahweh Shai uh, led, man. Okay, and fighting into the truth and to death, all right, having full understanding of the will of the, of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? This shit is, 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 is and I'm not going to say it's crazy because that's just the way the Most High set it up, man. All right, these same guys uh, that's in that spirit of Yahweh Shai didn't, uh, didn't come already and we still waiting on his first coming and all that madness. And oh, I don't have to go through Yahweh Shai. I can speak to the Lord myself. Those are the same ones that was coming up against him uh, uh, when he was in the flesh, man. Okay, them same rebellious ass, proud spirits are back today, man. All right. So that's why when you come up against the men of the Lord, you don't have shit to do with us, man. Okay, you coming up against Yahweh, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, because that's what we're representing, all right? We're the ambassadors or the representatives of uh, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai here uh, today, man, okay? Fighting to establish uh, uh, his, uh, uh, will continue to publish his word, okay? And establish righteousness, okay, until this thing is over, all right? All right, to receive the kingdom, to receive the glory, man. All right, to be fashioned like unto him and escaped out of these bodies, which are sold under sin, man. And he is the only way to obtain that promise, man. Okay, so I'm going to grab this one last precept just to, uh, 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 just to kind of capsulate that point, man. And this is uh, Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 6. It says, but now he, but now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator who is this talking about man all right it's talking about yahweh shot man who the world eagerly know is jesus christ man okay he is the one mediator man all right it says by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which is established upon better promises man so what are the better promises man okay that we are going to be programmed, all right, to, uh, after righteousness, man. That we'll no longer uh, be in this flesh and be uh, uh, sold under sin. We'll be freed from these bodies and under the 100% uh, uh, under the righteousness and order of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And he is the one that can uh, that, that's basically speaking on our behalf unto the Heavenly Father to, uh, to fulfill this covenant, man, which the Most High promised uh, unto us, man. So what? He set up his son to make sure he make good on his word, man. Because the most high is not a man that he would lie. Okay? So that's it for this lesson, man. Uh, man, Lord willing, the point was uh, clear and made, man. Okay? And, and, and uh, to, the, uh, to the most high's elect and to the ones who contain a rebellious spirit and do, uh, 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 and not uh see the weight and gravity of Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, death is waiting on you, man, in a horrible fashion, man. Okay? 
So uh, as always, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Once again, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who continue to push uh, this word and guide us through the spirit, man. And peace and blessings to the most high's hopeful elect. Shalom.